Good morning, everyone. There's a fascinating passage in the Talmud, a little scary. The Talmud says like this, it is better to jump into a burning furnace than to embarrass someone in public. Can you imagine that? How far the Talmud holds that we're not allowed to embarrass someone? Where does the Talmud learn this from? The Talmud learns it from this week's Torah portion with the story of Tamar and Yehuda. We spoke about Judah admitting his mistake yesterday. Well, what was that mistake? The mistake was accusing Tamar of adultery, accusing Tamar of not acting properly. Tamar, when she was accused, she didn't publicly announce that Yehuda, you're the father of the child. It's you. And therefore, there was no wrongdoing. Instead, she sent him hints that he should be able to recognize himself. And if he admitted, good. If not, she wasn't going to be the one to call him out. And the Talmud learns from there because the punishment at the time was to be burnt in the furnace. And the Talmud learns from there that one should not embarrass their friend to the extent of that they should be willing to go into a burning furnace. Now, we're not holding on such levels, and God willing, we should never be put in that position. But my friends, we have to have a little tummer inside of ourselves. We have to realize the severity of embarrassing someone else. We have to realize how far it goes to make sure that even our actions, especially our words, does not hurt someone else's feelings. Because when you hurt someone else's feelings or when you embarrass someone else, it's as if you're killing them. Not physically, but emotionally. And that's very powerful. So let's all work on this very important idea and work on ourselves to make sure that we be the better person. We make sure that we don't hurt other people's feelings, but more importantly, not embarrass them in front of their children, in front of their friends, their colleagues, community, social media, whatever it is. Let's be that bigger person and not embarrass other people, even when you're the one that might have got hurt, just like Tamar. Wishing everyone a beautiful day.